Have you considered adding manure tea for, uh, to your cannabis plants? Well, this Tobacco University video will provide you with some information and some data to look at how applicable this may be. Let's get into using manure tea for cannabis production. So first off, here's the research article, and I would invite you to kind of go through, find the article, look at it in more detail, because there's a lot presented here. I'm just going to provide you, again, with a brief overview. So the study specifics, as far as the overview of kind of what they went through and looked at, they evaluated the individual and combined effects of commercial synthetic fertilizer, humic acids, manure tea, and bio-inoculants such as inorganic, organic, and biological resources, respectively, on cannabis growth and physiological parameters. And here's some pictures of plants from their study. So what were the treatments? And this kind of uh, is shows some of the um, uh, data table that they provided. So one of the two biological fertilizers was MicroGrow, which is a Brazilian patented product ca categorized as manure tea. So MicroGeo is this manure tea specifically that was looked at in this study. This biofertilizer is composed of organic components, active and dormant cells from various microorganisms, and metabolites and organomineral chelates that are produced through continuous anaerobic fermentation in a liquid medium. So when we're looking at kind of what's presented here, we can kind of see some of the um, citing of sources as well. We see that biofertilizer category, which we'll be focused on, the microgeo, and the microgeo uh, supreme bioinoculant. And what is this here? This is a water-soluble powder containing several strains of bacteria and fungi, including 11 different mycorrhizal species and microbial foods as well included in the mix. So you can kind of follow these through the study. Now, what are the effects of these biological stimulants on cannabis? Well, the microgeal products did increase shoot and root biomass, as this was generally not different from the control. And this may have been due to the reduced stress and not the overall improvement of the plant. So, important note to make there. However, there is still change uh, for improved CBD content, even though this data was not collected in the study. So, what this is showing here is a different. Um, groups and different treatments, and the shoot biomass, the root biomass, and then the total. And keep in mind, means within a column followed by the same letter uh, are not significantly different at the 0.5 probability level of statistics. So you could pause the video here and take a look at some more detail, but there's definitely some consistencies here, sadly, not showing a whole lot of differences. So what were the researchers' general conclusions? Well, their general conclusion was the combination, uh, the combined application of humic acid and biofertilizer resulted in additive, but not synergistic increase in the measured parameter. What their core ideas was that cannabis height, chlorophyll, and photosynthesis were affected by biofertilizer and humic acid. Can, can, um, cannabis biomass was rarely affected by the application of biofertilizer and or humic acid. Now clear evidence found in the additional benefits from the combination of biofertilizer and humic acid. Therefore, biostimulants may contribute uh, to cannabis stress mitigation, and that's really about it. So keep in mind, if you are growing plants uh, and hopefully maintaining their environment so there is not a lot of stress on the plants, then the really effectiveness of adding some of these biostimulants, such as manure teas, may be significantly reduced. Good if they're in a stressful situation, but in this case or this study, if you're keeping the environment well, keeping the growing environment very supportive, the effectiveness of these biostimulants may be greatly reduced to the point it's not worth the extra labor, uh, time, and money to add them to your growing operation. 